It is time for your favorite radio program chatting from the word in the morning with your host brother Oscar York Divorce where we are praying up and praising up and putting that all important snap crackle and pop in your Christian morning.
And now here is our host, brother Oscar. Come on, brother Oscar. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is brother Oscar, your, your host, and I am here. And I am so glad to uh, be here with you this morning where we can pray up and praise up this morning. And putting that all, all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning. Amen. And amen. Yes, 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 yes. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise uh, the Lord. Uh, our introductory song was sung by the a cappella group Revelation, the Waymaker, the Waymaker. Oh, my friend, the Lord is definitely a Waymaker. When we have been through some toughest times, Jesus will be there and is uh, there for me and for you. It was Jesus who said in Matthew 11, 28 to 30, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy labor, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen, amen, and amen. Again, we're so delighted to be with you and to bring on another episode of Calling from the Word, where we're praising up, praying up, and praising up, and putting that all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk this morning. It's just a beautiful thing to wake up praising the Lord in the morning, letting the Lord be the first thing you do. In the morning is praising him and, and hearing the message of hope, salvation, and of love. Amen. And uh, a, amen. Again, we're so delighted to be with you and bring on this beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, program. Yes, we are. We hope that you have your ears on and ready, 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 ready to listen to another episode. Amen and amen. I want to thank everyone for praying for me as I have been through a sickness and we hope that uh, the Lord will keep me. He has been so far because my hope and my rest is in him on this beautiful, uh, beautiful day. Amen and uh, a Hey, man, my friend, if you live in a portion of the world, brother, I you lives in. The weather people says, the weather people says that it is 66 degrees and mostly, mostly cloudy. 66 degrees and mostly cloudy. And if you need to be in the element of things, if you need to be in the element of things, dress for the occasion. And at the same time, be watchful. Be watchful. We live in the world today where no one really cares, where there is so, so much mass killings, where people are destroying uh, properties and don't have respect for no one. So, my friend, we hope that you stay praying up and praising up. And be careful uh, while you're out there because you never, never, never know. Amen and a amen. All right, all right, Brother Oscar, where are you? Where are you, Brother Oscar? Where are you? You are listening to Chatting from the Word. My friend, this is not going to be your first time listening to the program. No more going to be your last time. Come back and listen to the program once, once again. But we're so delighted that you have your ears on. And since you do have your ears on, we just want to meet you this morning. Our honorary guests allow you to know we appreciate you this morning. And we are so glad that you join in with us on this beautiful, beautiful day.
And we hope that you love what you listen to. We do have a beautiful program for you. We have to have a beautiful chat. We are going to uh, direct our chat now in a new direction. We're not talking about the terror now, but what we're talking about today is a new creature in Jesus Christ. All things are passed away. All things have become new. And we are ambassadors for Christ. I just want to remind us, since we are ambassadors of Christ, since we have changed, since we have accepted Jesus Christ, we are ambassadors for Christ. And being ambassador, we should be living differently, reconciling the world in Christ. Amen. And hey, I love that. Amen. And uh, hey, amen. I believe we just took a station break, and if you are... Heard the station break. We want to thank you for coming back after listening uh, to the station break on this beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, morning. Amen. And amen. And my friend, we hope that you will uh, tell all this about us this morning. Share this program with your friends, with your loved ones. With those that you know need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ in the morning. Share with your friends, your loved ones, with your neighbors, with people that you're friends with on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or wherever you're coming on the internet. And my friend, if you're wondering where you can catch the program, here's our announcer to allow you to know where you can listen to the program. If you're wondering where to listen to the program, of course. People are program chatting from the word hosted by Oscar Wall. You can pull up many of our internet networks, iHeartRadio, 45, Google Podcast Breaker, and many, many more if you want to catch or listen to our program. Amen, amen, and amen. That's right. If you want to catch our program, you can tune into those entities our announcer just announced. And if you want to listen to us live, of course, we're on the Spreaker platform. You can listen to us through our YouTube or uh, through uh, any other networks that will bring the program live. If you want to listen to us live, but again, we're just so delighted that you have joined us live. You all that listen to us live, and we are so delighted to bring this program to your listening ears this morning. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. We're so delighted to to just to just do that this morning to bring this program on where we can pray it up and praise him up and put an all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian Christian morning. This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to our email addresses, which is lowercaseoscaryork3443 at gmail.com or chattingfromtheword at gmail.com, or you can put it on our messenger page, on Facebook page, on any page that you're listening to the program through, and we should be able to receive your prayer request. Sweet Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Amen and uh, a amen again. This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that uh, you want us to pray for here at Chatting from the Word, you can send it to those entities our announcer uh, just announced. And as always, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential here on Chatting from the Word, we do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'd be just so delighted and so pleased to do uh, just uh, just that. Again, this is our prayer time. Our prayer time scripture will be found in First Thessalonians 5, verses 15 through 23. And if you care to read along with us, you are welcome to do uh, just that. Again, that's First Thessalonians 5, verses 15 to 23. Brother Paul, the apostle, penned these words. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quit not the spirit, despise not prophesying, prove all things. Hold fast that which is good, of safe from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God to hold spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My friend, are you ready to approach the throne of grace? So that we may have a little talk with the Father on this beautiful, beautiful morning. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, our Father which art in heaven, our Father who sits high and looks low, Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise this morning. Just thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, for being our Father and we being your children. Oh, Father, Father, we just want to say thank you, thank you, and thank you this morning. Father, we just want to thank you for blessing us with another beautiful day. A day we didn't know it would come, but Father, because of your love and your tender mercy, Father, you allow us to see this beautiful, beautiful day. And Father, we pray Thank you, Father, for allowing your only begotten Son, your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior of Jesus Christ, to come down from the beauty of heaven, down to the sin-sick world, to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to connect with you. And he himself taking upon himself the cross, becoming sin for us, who knew no sins, so that our sins may be washed away in his blood oh father we thank you so 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 much so much so much for that oh father we pray for this world in which we live for all the earthquakes in diverse places with all the storms earthquakes fires that's destroying homes and lives Oh, Father, 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 we pray for wars, rumors of wars, Father, we pray that there be peace on this earth, Father, peace that passes all understanding. Father, we pray for any boy, girl, man, and woman who want to accept Jesus Christ, and they do it today before it's everlastingly and eternally too late. 
Father, we pray for those that lost loved ones. We pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for those that lost loved ones by the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer who have given their lives and their life of duty. Father, we pray for their families that you help them to be, that you console them and bring peace in their world. Oh, Father, 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 we pray for all of our political leaders this morning. Father, we pray that they never make laws letting us from worshiping you, but make laws where all can live in peace and in harmony. Father, we pray for the church once again. Allow the church to be a lighthouse leading others to Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for all of our listeners this morning. Help them through all the chaos and all the problems that they are occurring. Father, help them in that doubts and unbelief. Father, help them to get courage in you and to be, uh, have faith in you and to continue living for you. And Father, we pray for those for the program this morning. Father, chatting from the Word. Father, we pray that you help us keep it on the airways. Help us, Father, that we may continue on teaching and preaching and praising your word, Father. In Jesus' name we do, Father. And Father, we pray, Father. Father, we pray for our message this morning. A new creature in Christ Jesus. Father, help us that we may say something to help someone that they need to live that purposeful life in of Jesus Christ and be reconciling the world in Christ and set the right example for the world to see. Oh, Father, we pray for those who have gone through some, some troubled times. Father, we pray for those who are going through through some marital problems, we pray for those that are going through some financial problems. Father, we pray for those that are fighting hard to keep a job. We pray for those that are fighting hard to find a job. We pray, Father, for those that be incarcerated. Father, we pray that you be with them. Father, we pray for those that are trying to get a higher education to improve themselves. Father, we pray for them. Father, we pray for the problems that we all are going through. Father, we pray for the problems that church is going through. Father, we pray that you be with the church and allow the church to stand on the ground and the principles of your word. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for those that are trying to teach and preach your word around the world. Father, we pray that you be with them, help them through all the struggles that they are going through to maintain that living and maintain telling the world about uh, Jesus Christ. And Father, 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 we just want to thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, Father, for being our Father and we being your children. And that's always, Father, help us, keep us in you. Help us, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, help us. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen.
Amen and amen. I'd like to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us, for praying along with us in all ways. We hope that uh, we pray for something that is on your minds this morning. And as I continue saying, if you have a prayer request, you can always send them on in. If you have a prayer request, you can always uh, send them on in. Amen. And amen. We're so thankful that you hang, hung in here with Brother Oscar at this portion of the program. This is our chat time. We don't have no introduction for it yet, but we will get that together. This is our prayer time. This is our chat time. <laughs> This is our chat time, and we're so delighted that you are, are with us and that you have uh, decided to be with us this morning and to praise the Lord with us here on this beautiful morning that the Lord has allowed us to see. For this is the day which the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Brother Oscar is so glad to bring this lesson to the airways, and we hope that you will receive it in the spirit that it was uh, given. Again, get relaxed, get relaxed, get relaxed, get relaxed, beautiful, beautiful. If you already have relaxed, if you already grab your favorite morning drink, coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, and get relaxed. If you're rec relaxed, you recline your chair, recline it out. If you're relaxed uh, in, at the coffee table, studying the word, go ahead and have a seat. But what we request is the fact that you do have a copy of God's word so that you can see and, and see and, and really be a participant of what we are talking about here on chatting from the word uh, and our lesson for uh, this morning we are we're going to try to head in a new direction this morning and we're still coming out to second corinthians the fifth chapter we're just going to hit 12 through 21. Uh, that's again that's uh, second corinthians the fifth chapter verses 12 uh, to 21, after talking about the terror of the Lord for so long, we want to flip the flip. I, I guess I guess I guess I can say flip the script <laughs> a little bit. We just want to talk about our sincerity, uh, what kind of people we should be. Don't be. Change, don't change your life because of the terror, but change your life because you truly love the Lord. I was talking to uh, my son's school class years ago, and I was telling them, I'm not a, I, I, I don't love the Lord for the fact that I fear, that I fear going to hell. I love the Lord because what he has already done for me. I love the Lord, got me and the Lord, Lord, the Lord, and I've been in this relationship for too long to let it go now. <laughs> and that's what Brother Oscar feels. I'm not loving the Lord because I fear him, but I'm loving the Lord because I love him, care for him, and recognize he had been there for me through my pick and pen. That he is here for me today as I go through my sickness. And he's with you too. Yeah. He is with all of us. And name the name of Christ. That name the name of Christ. And I know the world today. And I know I, Oscar keeps hopping on this. Uh, I know the world don't believe uh, what we believe, what the Bible is saying, or what the Bible is saying in itself. But we as Christians, if we truly want to go to heaven, we must be in obedience to what the Word of God has to say. And that's a fact. It's not something that uh, Bill Oscar is making up. That's a fact. If you ain't obedient to God's Word, you can't expect to truly be in with the Lord or heading to heaven. You can't do that with so uh, many false teachings out there. It's so easy. 
to allow one of these false teachers to mess us up. And we are heading in a different direction instead of heading to heaven. And that's why I'm so glad that I brought this program to the airways to help you to uh, navigate. We can navigate together the way to heaven according to these scriptures. My friend, if you have a copy of God's Word, turn with me again to 2 Corinthians 5, and we're going to read a little bit of 2 Corinthians 5, verses 12, uh, 12 through, let me see here you go, 12, 12, excuse me, 12 through 21. Here Paul writes, For we command not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that ye may have somewhat, somewhat to answer them with glory in appearance and not in heart. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God. And whether we be sober it is for your cause. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we all died. And what he died for all, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh, yet though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in the Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. And we want to deal with that for a moment, for a second. Here Paul is letting us know that every fiber in our bodies, we must show crisis. We must show our love for Christ. Especially if we supposed to be a changed man or a changed woman. Well, all the fiber that we can muster, we must show the world Christ in us. Amen, Brother Oscar? We must show the change in us. After Paul talked about the terror, now Paul is saying to us, not, don't, don't love Christ because of the terror if you're not in him, but love him because he loved you first. Love him because he died for you. Love him because he created you. Love him because he loved you first. For God so loved the world, John said, and he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe on him should not perish, but have uh, everlasting life. Love him. Love him. And since you love him, you're going to live that life of change. I know many today, when talks about being changed, being a new man, a new woman, some they say, well, that, that's just my nature to do what I'm doing. It's just my nature to be a righteous person. It's just my nature to curse. It's just in my nature to hate. It's just in my nature. But my friend, once you accept Jesus Christ, allow Jesus Christ to be the change in you that help you to change. You understand what I'm saying? Being the fact that you accepted Jesus Christ. Being the fact that you answered the call. Being the fact that you 
that, that, that you believe in pink confessing, be baptized, and living the life. Law Christ be the reason why you're living the life. Let the world see Christ in you. And again here, I brother Paul is saying, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. All things. Let me read it again. All things. The man you used to be. We're not that man anymore. That woman you used to be, you shouldn't be that woman anymore. But one good thing about Jesus Christ, let me tell you something. He knows when it comes to a repentive heart and a changed person, he knows that change don't come overnight. And I love to insert this. That change don't come overnight. And here, I don't believe Paul is trying to tell us here that it's going to automatically, the change is going to automatically happen. You understand? But it is a growth process, if I may use that term. It is a growth process, Especially once you become a member of the body of Christ and surround your people, surround yourself with people that has the same faith, that has the same encourage, and who can encourage you to keep on keeping on living for Christ. Amen, Brother Oscar. Amen. But some of us, the reason why we find it so hard, we still are surrounding ourselves with the old man. We see us surrounding ourselves with the things we once did and just can't turn it loose. Some of us not even trying to turn it a loose. Some of us, uh, we used to drink that drink uh, alcohol, we'll go back. And, oh, ain't nothing wrong with a little nip. Oh, you know how we talk sometimes. If we was out there fornicating and having sex like it's free, and we're not striving, striving to live uh, for Christ, oh man, we we'll make any we we'll, we we'll come up with any excuses to go back and pick up that old man. I, I feel Oscar, I, I just couldn't help myself. My mama was like that. My daddy was like that. So it's just in me to be that righteous person. It's not in you, my friend. It's not in you to be that riotous person. Because Paul says, and Christ says, we can change and become that new man. Of that new woman. And that's as I said, the reason why many of us don't change. Because we do not allow allow A L L O W allow ourselves to change. We still surround as I just said, we're still surrounding ourselves with the old things we once did. And uh, with the old friends, <laughs> yeah, brother, I was going to say it. We're surrounding ourselves with the old friends that once got us in that trouble. Well, all their minds have not changed. So we still surround ourselves with them thinking, oh, I'm strong. <laughs> I can still go around Joe Blow, who, who I grew up with since we was in elementary school, but he's not a Christian. He's smoking pot and he's doing this. I can go back around him and, 
It won't touch me. Don't be so naive, my friend. Don't be so naive. But most of us, reason why we cannot change is the fact that we are still surrounding ourselves with the things the old man used to. <laughs> we truly want to live for Christ today. Amen. Sometimes we need to just make that a hundred uh, eighty turn. Leave those things we used to do alone. But like I said, we want to make excuses. Some of us still want to pat our, uh, our feet to the same music. We might say, oh, that, 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 that sounds good to get in that groove. No, those kind of music may lead to other things. Uh, we may watch a, a movie, knowing that movie may leave. <laughs> what you talking about, Brother Oscar? My friend is short. Paul says, let me read it again, because we're going to get deep into it probably tomorrow and the next day in this lesson. We just uh, started here, and we just want to just let our whistle this morning. On this lesson. And again Paul said. Therefore. If any man be in Christ. And that's the thing. In Christ. In Christ. What what that. What did that cover. But Oscar being in Christ. Being in Christ means that you ain't no being to his word. Being in Christ means that you're going to do what he tells you to do. To himself and to his apostles in the New Testament. You're going to follow their ways and be like Christ. You know, a lot of us, we say in Jesus Christ, we pray, but we really don't know what being in Christ is all about. Some of us make that statement, being in Christ. But being in Christ is living for Christ. And the reason why I know many of us will make the statement, but we're not living it because look around you. Look around you. I, I've seen a brother, he's up there, not maybe a brother, but up there praying, and all of a sudden he's out there cursing in the same, under the same breath. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. Being in Christ is living for Christ, my friend. Being in Christ is living for Christ. Therefore, if a man be in Christ, living in Christ, being changed to live in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And then go to the Father, and then be our last thought for this morning. And all things are of God. Who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. All things are of God. All things. All things are of God. And who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. Not by no, not by Brother Oscar. Not by any man that's up there preaching and teaching and got a group of people following him, but in Jesus Christ. And have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. I guess I could we could talk about the ministry of reconciliation too, because many of us we we really I'm not sure what the ministry of reconciliation is all about. Many of us don't even much, can't even fathom, and I believe this is the statement that Brother Oscar wants to make, can I even fathom what reconciliation, reconciliation is all about? But here Paul said he had given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To be in Christ Jesus, to be changed, you got to know the ministry 
a reconciliation. And on tomorrow, we're going to talk about that. We're going to get off in that deeply, more deeply. The ministry of reconciliation. What do that mean? What do that involve? What is the ministry of reconciliation is all about? And we want to put a picture to that tomorrow. We're going to try at least the ministry of reconciliation. And we want to put a, a picture on that to show you uh, if you're in Christ Jesus and he has given us the ministry of reconciliation, uh, uh, have, have uh, the ministry, that's right, us the ministry of reconciliation, what do that entail? So we hope that you join us tomorrow though, so that we can talk about being a new creature in Christ Jesus and that we can talk about the ministry of reconciliation. Amen and amen. Again, we're so thankful to be with you today and we're so thankful to be able to bring this uh, program to your listening ears and we hope that we said something this morning to cause you to think about your condition with the Lord and if heaven will be your home. Will you pray with me, please? Uh, Father, which art in heaven, Father, we thank you for allowing us to bring this program to the airways. Father, we pray for the lesson, a new creature in Christ. Father, we thank you for just giving us life and helping us to be a spokesman for you when it comes to your word. Just keep us healthy and wise. Father, we pray for all of our listeners this morning. We pray, Father, that you be with each and every one of them. Help them to uh, understand your will and do and be your people. Help us, Father, that we may uh, continue this beautiful day in you and and live for you and show the world Christ in us. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody, love everybody. Bye-bye. And may God bless.
Just a man that I should show. 